Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 76 of Let's FIFA 13, and this is the second episode of today, so if you haven't watched the first one, be sure to go back and check it out, because I created a few custom set pieces in that one, and you might learn something from that, and might be able to score some pretty cool goals with it. But moving on to the gameplay, we go into the final of the Gold Cup, and I come up against a very strong... Premier League side and what a finish there by Tevis to make it 1-0 in the 5th minute and then I make a huge mistake I try to pass it to my keeper but it goes to my defender and David Silva will pick that one up to make it 2-0 and he gets another one another goal in the start of the second half so 3-0 this and he was playing ultra defensive after he got the early lead that meant I couldn't really create any chances very difficult to break him down and I only managed to get one goal from the game so not the best of games and he played them very well so when I lose the final and I have to go into the round of 16th and as you can see here uh, it showed a 2 bar latency and then it bumped up into the 3 bar and uh, this happened a few episodes ago as well where it uh, wasn't wasn't 2 bar bumped up to the 3 bar and then the game was very laggy and I learned my lesson by now I will never go into a game again if it just shows the 2 bar because it's not worth taking the chance uh, of the game being so very laggy so I end up going out of the game I do get a loss for it but I've said this so many times before not worth playing a game that is laggy so where uh, we go into the under 16th once again keep going with the goal side it is pretty fun to play with despite not having the best uh, finishers on the top uh, but we'll go into the game and we come up against a five at the back a very pacey defense and a bungalow hall on the top and uh, I didn't create many chances well I did create chances but it was very difficult to get uh, the final skill move pulled off because he had so very fast and strong defenders so very difficult to get in on goal and we actually end up going into extra time I do get a shot in here in the 80 second minute but it is a save so into extra time we go and this is where I get managed to get the goal here with Ben Arthur making his way into the box and I'm very lucky to get the rebounder with Tarap to make it 1-0 and then in the second half of extra time he takes his players out of the wall and I thought let's try a driven free kick then see if we can get a goal that way and that works out what a goal hits the bar and bounces out of the goal it looks very good and worth watching the replay of that one so I win the game at 2-0 and I was happy I was done playing a 5 back formation because it was very difficult to put get some skill moves going against uh, the 5 at the back but then I get up against another team with 5 at the back a very pacey side and very difficult to break it down as well. I do manage to make it 1-0 in the 35th minute. Uh, and after that I didn't create many chances. I do get a nice chance here with Asa Edi making his way into the box. And I do try to make a rebound request but it gets blocked. And then in the 90th minute he will push through here to make it 1-1. And that means we go into extra time. And this is where he gets his second goal. I really thought my keeper should have had that one. But he does not save it. And that means I lose the game at 2-1. So we'll have to play the round of 16 one more time uh, because I lost this game and I decided it was time to change team to, to play with another side so we go with the silver side 4-3-3 four, three, three formation and uh, I will come up against the team a Brazilian team here in the 4-3-2-1 formation but all his center mids do not really think about defending I believe they all got a low defensive work rate or something like that but he does manage to get the lead on an own goal by me so an unlucky goal to give up there uh, but I'll get my luck afterwards because I failed the skill move there and somehow Rose and I will pick the ball up there to make it 1-1 one, one. so we're both getting quite lucky in this game and we go into the second half Dani Nino with some really nice stuff here and I'd hope he would attack me with his uh, center back there but he does not and he gets an easy time clearing that rainbow flick and then I'm way too aggressive with uh, David Luiz and that means he gets a goal there to make it 2-1 and I'll push back with Michael Layden nice stuff here to make his way into the box and we pick up a corner and straight from the corner a nice bicycle kick there to make it 2-2 another nice goal for this episode and we go into extra time where I'll try and get that 3-2 goal. First off, he saves it, but I will finally get the goal, a rebound goal, to make it 3-2. And that is how the game ends. I'm through uh, to the quarterfinals. And as you can see, yeah, he only had three shots the entire game, and two of them were goals. So uh, I felt I deserved to get the win in the game. So going into the quarterfinals, keep going with the same side. And I will come up against a very strong side, a 3-5-2 here. A lot of pace up front and on the wings. Uh, and uh, I'll get the game started here in the fourth minute he didn't really attack me so the skill moves does end up looking a bit stupid and I decide just to take the shot and what a shot that is with the outside of the foot uh, Jaja makes it 1-0 and he decides to rage quit so uh, I am through to the semi-finals which will be the last game of this episode and we go with the 4-4-2 uh, silver side and I come up against the team 
which is pretty nice here at 4231 and I tend to have a lot of problems with this side especially because it does have these two defensive emits and it doesn't give a lot of space between the defense and the midfield uh, and I will get a chance here in the second minute and I could have taken the shot but I really wanted to get that at final compilation goals and I'm going to pay for that because he will get a goal here I thought my defender should have that one I tried to cover the pass across goal but I couldn't do anything and he makes it 1-0 and once again I could have taken the goal but as, as I said I really want to get that final compilation goal because I've started editing the compilation today and I only need that one final goal to finish it up but because I didn't take my chances he will get up 2-0 and here my player was injured so Aguero is through on goal and he makes it a 3-0 and then I thought it was time to try and get it back in the game but as you can see I do hit the post and on this one he will save it so quite unlucky not to get the goal and then my player trips over here and Aguero is a through on goal and he will score his third goal of the game complete his hat trick to make it 4-0 so two quite unlucky goals to give up there and he will score another goal to make it a 5-0 so I had pretty much lost the game but I will still get one goal back in the 88th minute and I'll get another goal here in the 90th minute but way too late and I end up losing the game but that is sometimes how it is if you want to go for skill goals you sometimes end up paying for it and that is what happened in this game so yeah guys that is all for this episode I hope you did enjoy it and I will of course try and have another one out tomorrow so thank you for watching and I will talk to you later